Still on partial fraction, but this time around, we are going to talk about how to resolve an improper fraction into partial fractions. All right, how do we identify an improper fraction? First of all, before we talk about the resolution of improper fractions, let us first of all identify a fraction that is improper. Okay, now I have five examples here. Look at this fraction x squared plus 3x plus 2 all over x plus 1. The degree of this numerator is 2. By degree, I mean the highest power of x. The highest power of x here at the denominator is 1. Okay? Since the degree of the numerator is greater than the degree of the denominator, it is an improper fraction. The same thing here. The degree here is 3 because 3 is the highest power of x here. I have x squared, x to the power of 1. But 3 here is the highest power of x. So the degree of this numerator is 3. The degree of this denominator is 2. 3 is greater than 2. Of course, this is an improper fraction. The same thing applies here. Let's put degree aside. Let's use coefficient now to determine if a fraction is proper or improper. Here, I have 3x squared plus 2x minus 1. The degree here is what? 2. At the denominator, we have 2x squared plus x plus 1. What is the degree? 2. Okay, both degrees are the same. Is this improper? Yes, it is improper. When I look at the leading coefficient, what is the coefficient of x squared here? 3. What is the coefficient of x squared here? 2. Okay, 3 is greater than 2. That makes this fraction improper. Alright? The same thing here. x cubed, x cubed. They have the same degree. Now, the coefficient of x cubed here is 4. And the coefficient of x cubed here is 2. 4 is greater than 2. This makes this an improper Fraction. Now, we've seen examples of improper fractions. So, how do we decompose or resolve an improper fraction into partial fractions? Watch the video to the end and see how it is done. I do not need to say that this fraction is improper. What we have to do to this fraction is to break it down using polynomial long division. Take note. This expression at the top is being divided by this at the bottom. We call this the dividend. Okay, it is called dividend. While this one at the bottom is called the divisor. Alright, let's divide. 3x cubed divided by x squared is what? 3x. Put the 3x here. Now, x squared times 3x is 3s cubed. 2x times 3x is 6x squared. Minus 3 times 3x is minus 9x. 3x cubed minus 3x cubed is 0. 22x squared minus Obviously, minus plus is a minus. So, 22x squared minus 6x squared is 16x squared. 38x minus minus 9x. That will be minus minus is a plus. So, 38x plus 9x is 47x. Okay? The 7 will come down. 16x squared divided by x squared is 16. I'll put my 16 here. x squared times 16 is 16x squared. 2x times 16 is 32x. Minus 3 times 16 is minus 48. I'll subtract. 
16x squared minus 16x squared is 0. 47x minus 32x. Of course, minus plus is a minus. So 47x minus 32x is 15x. Alright. 7 minus minus 48. That's 7 plus 48 because minus minus is a plus. 7 plus 48 is 55. At this point now, I can't divide this by this because this divisor is greater than this. The degree of this expression is 1. The degree of this one is 2. So this is greater than this. I can't proceed. That means this is where we'll stop. So we call this the remainder. We call this the quotient. This is the dividend and this is the what? The divisor. If I divide 9 by 5, I will get one whole number 4 all over 5 because 5 times 1 is 5, plus 4 is 9, 9 over 5. And you will agree with me that I can write this as 1 plus 4 over 5. If I do LCM of this, I will still get this. So in this case, 9 is the dividend, 5 is the divisor, 1 is the quotient, 4 is the remainder. Okay? So, the answer will look like this. Quotient plus remainder over divisor. What is the quotient? The quotient is 3x plus 16. So it is equal to 3x plus 16 plus, what is the remainder? 15x plus 55. 15x plus 55 divided by the divisor, which is this. x squared plus 2s minus 3. So this expression at the left hand side is actually equal to what we have here at the right hand side. All right, this is what we have now. We have divided this by this and we got this as the quotient, this as the remainder, and this as the divisor as we have it before. Okay, so how do we now resolve it into a partial fraction as we have been saying? This fraction here is what we are going to resolve into partial fractions. As it is now, it is a proper fraction. It is this expression now that we are going to resolve into partial fractions. This is it. So, this denominator now can be reduced. x squared plus 2x minus 3. We can actually factorize it to obtain this. Check it out. The coefficient of x squared here is 1. 1 times minus 3 is minus 3. 2 is the coefficient of x. So I need two numbers that I will multiply to give me minus 3. I will add them to give me 2. And the numbers are 3 and minus 1. Because 3 times minus 1 is minus 3. 3 plus minus 1 is 2 which is 3 minus 1. So this expression will now be x squared plus 3x minus 1x or x minus 3. Factorizing by grouping. What's common to this first two? x. Bring s out. x squared divided by x is x. 3x divided by x is 3. What's common to this last two? Of course, is minus 1. If minus 1 comes out, we'll have s plus 3. So s plus 3 is common to both brackets. Bring one of them out. Open another bracket. x minus 1. So we have it as this expression is equal to this. Okay, so let's go and continue with what we are doing. At the denominator now, we have non-repeated linear factors. So the decomposition will be a all over x minus 1 
plus b all over x plus 3. Okay, so we have 15x plus 55 all over s minus 1, s plus 3 is equal to, what's the LCM of these two? It's still these two. So, if I do LCM, I'm going to obtain this. Just watch. A bracket S plus 3 plus B bracket S minus 1. How? Divide this LCM by X minus 1. You have S plus 3 left. Because S minus 1 will cancel S minus 1. So, S plus 3 is left. S plus 3 times A is A times S plus 3. Divide it again. By s plus 3, we're having x minus 1. x minus 1 times b, that's b times x minus 1. So the denominators here are the same. They will cancel out, leaving us with 15x plus 55 is equal to a bracket s plus 3 plus b bracket s minus 1. Good. Let's say we want to eliminate a first. You know, in the cover-up method, one of the constant has to go before we get the other one. So, let's eliminate A first and get B, okay? To eliminate A, I need to plug in the value for X such that everything here will be zero. If I plug minus 3 for X, minus 3 plus 3 is zero. Zero times A is zero. Everything here is zero. When s is equal to minus 3. 15 times minus 3 is minus 45 plus 55 is equal to this already 0 when minus 3 enters. 0 then minus 3 minus 1 is minus 4. Minus 4 times b is minus 4b. Minus 45 plus 55 is 10, which is equal to what? Minus 4B. So therefore, B is equal to minus 10 all over what? 4. Dividing both sides by minus 4. Okay? And if we simplify this, 2 here is 5. 2 here is 2. So we have minus 5 all over 2 as the value of b. To get a now, b has to go. So what value of x will I plug in here to make everything equal to 0? If I plug in 1, 1 minus 1 is 0. Everything here is 0. So when x is equal to 1, when x is equal to 1, we have 15 times 1 is 15, plus 55 is equal to, plug in 1 here, 1 plus 3 is 4, 4 times A is 4A. Of course, everything here is 0, okay? Let's go ahead. 15 plus 55 is 70. 70 is equal to what? 4a. Dividing both sides by 4. 4 cancel 4. a is equal to 35 all over 2. 2 here is 35. 2 here is 2. So this is the value of a. So therefore, this is now equal to a all over x minus 1. And what's a? 35 over 2, so we have 35 all over 2 bracket s minus 1 plus what's b? b is minus 5 over 2. Minus 5 all over 2 bracket s plus 3. Okay, let's just say plus minus is a minus, so we have 35 all over 2 bracket s minus 1 minus 5 all over 2 bracket s plus 3. 
Therefore, this expression that we are giving initially will not be equal to 3x plus 16. Then, in place of this one, we will not write this. That will be plus 35 all over 2 bracket s minus 1 minus 5 all over 2 bracket s plus 3 s plus 3 so we have succeeded in resolving this very compound fraction into its component partial fractions so this is the result all right i hope you enjoyed the video keep supporting by subscribing to this channel like and share to your friends and your classmates. I'll see you in the next video.